It looks like he did not want to give up his shirt to anyone here in the crowd. Shirts are expensive, Ryan. They are. Fish coming back in. But as I was saying before, Corey, both of these men have a lot to prove tonight. The championships that both of these men have earned are very prestigious. We see a lot of gold around the waist of JT Dunn. Listen, we see the very prestigious Ring of Honor Tag Team Championship around the waist of Bobby Fish. Now, while none of these championships may be on the line tonight, both of these men have to prove why they earned them. They have to prove that they are worthy to wear those belts. And I said it once, I'll say it again. Only one man is going to be able to prove that tonight. You got that right, Brian. Fish with that mouthpiece here. Both men slowly circling each other. They're getting ready to tie this one up. They do collar and elbow center of the ring. I think that's the first time we've seen that this evening. Fish backs JT Dunn in the corner, far away from us. Clean break there from Bobby Fish. And you're right, Corey. We have just seen a lot of all out brutality here at XWA Aftermath. The closest thing we came to a clean wrestling match before tonight. Had to be Latin Dragon and Julian Stark. But it was still, you're exactly right, it was still very rough. But right now we're seeing a lot of technical wrestling from both JT Dunn and Bobby Fish. Nice single leg sweep takedown right there from the rear waist lock. Bobby Fish in control. He's got that rear chin lock now applied on JT Dunn. Both men prone. And at ringside, we are seeing Shelly Martinez offering her support to JT Dunn. She's a really attractive young woman. My thoughts exactly, Corey. Thank you. Both men back to their feet now. Like Dunn needs any support around here. He's got fans galore here in the New England region. And despite that, Corey, he does have a lot of support here tonight. He has support with Shelly Martinez. He has support with the XWA champion, and his tag team partner, David Starr. I'm a little surprised to not see David Starr at ringside with JT Dunn. Well, I'm actually not surprised that he is not at ringside. He has an XWA championship match to think about, Corey. Fish makes it over to that bottom strand, breaking the hold from JT Dunn. And Fish can take a little stroll on the outside, get a little air. Bobby Fish certainly taking his time since the start of this matchup. He is really trying to set the pace to his liking. Both men now back center of the ring. Tie this up one more time. And jockeying here. Fish trying to get that arm ringer going. He's got it. He steps over top wrist lock now. Dunn works his way back out, and now he is in control. Look at Smart. Dunn put that extra pressure right up in that shoulder area. And great takedown by Bobby Fish. Bobby Fish has just got technical skills coming out of his ears. Absolutely, Corey. We've seen already in this matchup that he is very versatile. And he is very capable of reversing those holds from JT Dunn and then getting some offense in himself. One more time, winding up that arm of JT Dunn is Bobby Fish. Dunn now reverses, gets that side hit lucky fly. Nice snap takeover. And with this amount of, it was a two count there. Excuse me, almost a three count, only a two count. Nice try for a roll up right there on the part of Bobby Fish. He only gets two. Again, very smart wrestling, Corey. But I'm thinking that with all of this technical wrestling that we're seeing tonight, both of these men are really still just feeling each other out. Both of these competitors are very impressive. No doubt they've both done their fair share of homework on each other. And they are really just trying to find their spot, but all the while, just wearing down the other competitor. John, working on that. Left arm of Bobby Fish. Fish rolls through, rolls back, rolls. Nice, beautiful move. Man, Fish has got some unbelievable athleticism. And he's looking to our audience to say, aren't I great? 
And they're not disagreeing with him entirely, Ryan. I don't think Bobby Fish is going to get much support from the fans here tonight. Personally, I think he's just showing off for his own sake. Both men now circling each other one more time, center of the ring. JT Dunn, Bobby Fish, both world tag team champions of different organizations and a boot to the gut for Bobby Fish. I hate to say it, but that's usually how those sort of tests of strengths turn out. It's who can get the kick in first. Dunn backed off now, whipped off the ropes. He gets under that first shot from Fish. Dunn, look at that, he lands on his feet. Nice deep arm from kick down, another one. JT Dunn, very smart. After that series of arm drags, keeping Fish grounded. Dunn leaning back now on Tell that arm, shut up. shoulder back. Shut her up. Oh. If you're going to see anything in common with the people that you see on top here at XWA, or really a lot of the other federations for that matter, it's those that know how to follow up with their offense. The way JT Dunn didn't just end it with the sequence of arm drags. Look out. He just kept the offense going. Oh, oh God, he just it all. And crashing into Bobby Fish. He's back against that barrier. Ryan, if that barrier gets a little worse than most of the wrestlers here at XWA. And this whole arena has been put through the paces as it were. You said it at the beginning of this night, Ryan, that we had an unbelievable card put together. And this has not failed to disappoint. No, it hasn't, it hasn't disappointed. Absolutely not, Corey. JT Dunn trying to get the fans behind him immediately. They respond. Oh! Oh, just stop. Dunn just put the boot right to the face of Bobby Fish outside the ring. In an uncharacteristically vicious move. Referee Rich Bass having trouble keeping this one square now. Fish kicks out at one. You know, that kick out at one, it seems like absolute pure, pure adrenaline. After that series of offense, after that brutal kick over at the barricade, you wouldn't expect any competitor to kick out at one. But it looked like Bobby Fish oh, going for another cover now. It looked like Bobby Fish, though. Pure will, pure audacity is able to just kick out. But JT Dunn, once again, like I said, he is just keeping on that offense. He is another two count. JT Dunn is just keeping on. He is not giving Bobby Fish an inch. But now it looks like Bobby Fish is able to find that gap. He's able to create that distance for himself by very wisely catching himself on the road. Come on, come on. Look race right there. Oh, Fish thought he had JT Dunn. Dunn wisely rolling back under that bottom strand. And he has control. Boot to the gut right there. I say this with no disrespect, but I think with a lot of other competitors, Bobby Fish would have had him exactly where he wanted him. But you're absolutely right, Corey. JT Dunn was very intuitive, very wise to get out of that. But now, Bobby Fish. Ryan, can you see the way that JT Dunn came down from that corner? Very awkwardly on that knee. And Fish goes right to work on it. And it's two for Bobby Fish. But that's why Bobby Fish is one half of the Ring of Honor Tag Team Champions. He was able to spot that opening, to spot that target in a split second. Ryan, I would describe that as a reverse spinning toe hold followed by a drop, a knee drop. And JT Dunn is in a lot of trouble right here. You take away his vertical base and JT Dunn doesn't have a lot left. Fish crashing across the ring into Dunn at the near corner here. Now as we're seeing Bobby Fish. And beautiful snap oh. suplex from Bobby Fish. As we're seeing Bobby Fish take control of this matchup. We're also seeing, just like we've seen Come with on. the other matches tonight, Corey, it's starting to get a lot more brutal. 
He's done wearing down J.C. Dunn, and now he just wants to hurt him. And he's wisely going after that knee. If he stepped over, it would be a single leg crossing grab. It's not quite that, Ryan, but the angle of the hip and knee right here is possibly more effective considering the injury that J.C. Dunn already sustained to that knee. And I think that's what Bobby Fish realizes. I think he is thinking in exactly the same terms for it. But JT Dunn, very wisely grabbing that bottom rope. Oh! Great athleticism. If JT Dunn were a little further away from that bottom rope, I think he would really have been in trouble. And the entire weight of Bobby Fish would have landed on top of him. Instead, he's managed to roll outside the ring to get a little comfort and support. But as of right now, he only has about seven counts for that comfort and support. Brian, I don't think he's going to be able to make it back. That knee of his, look at the gameness of J.T. Dunn. He pulls himself back to the ring. He's not even standing. Bobby Fitz just puts the boot to him. Dunn trying to fight back from his back. Not an easy way to fight, Brian. But fight nonetheless. You have to credit JT Dunn for showing that resiliency. But Bobby, what a brutal kick. Sharp series of knees followed by that nasty looking kick right across the chest. JT Dunn is out at two. Fans here trying to get behind JT Dunn. Forearm smash from Dunn. Another one back from Fish, and now Dunn and Fish, center of the ring. Straight right for Fish. Forearm smash is done. Spinning back kick for Fish. Oh my god, a quick stunner right there. Both men down. Just the very suddenness of that move. It's out of nowhere, Ryan. And look, the juice right there. He's grabbing that knee. His knee is really hurting, Ryan. Meanwhile, Bobby Fish, he looks like he doesn't know where he is right now, but he is first to his feet. Close line from Dunn. Back elbow bump. Ducks under right there. Get that kick right up. First real offense we've seen from Jake Dunn in several minutes. Oh! That float of a shot. And it's two. I don't know how smart that move was, Corey. As much of an impact that it might have caused, it looked like JT Dunn landed right on his knees. That had to really hurt. Even those brutal kicks that we saw. That could wear out JT Dunn a lot more than any other offense. Fish got that foot up in the chest, but Dunn returned the favor. Oh! He's got him, Ryan. He's got him. Bobby Fish one more time is out in two. Unbelievable resiliency being shown by both these competitors, Ryan. This is a reason it's champion versus champion, Corey. Neither of these guys are here to play around. And trying to get done. To find a little bit left in the tank. Both into their feet. Fish with a block and a nice series of shots. We've seen JT Dunn end matches with that spinning elbow. Fish goes for the pin. He's got two. Just two. Bobby Fish was absolutely ready for JT Dunn. He had studied him well, Ryan. He's been able to stay in this match. Fish just ramming. Dunn in. Oh! oh! Beautiful exploder suplex, Corey. One more time, it's only two. Come on! Referee Rich Bass right in position. And just a scream from Bobby Fish. He is possibly absolutely desperate at this point. You know he wants to end it, Ryan. Look out, Fish. Oh, nasty forearm. Kick to that bad knee. 
Dunn ducks under the spin kick there and gets one up of his own. And Fish now is out in two. JT Dunn was very lucky to duck under that spin kick, Corey. That came at him with unbelievable velocity. There's the juice now, setting up Fish. Fish sneaks out. Kicks that knee again. That knee is really taking a beating, Ryan. Oh, and a leg snap man right there. Oh. Oh man, and Dunn is really busy. Messing up at this point. Fish again went for it. That's it, that's it, Ella. 